living in a small town in Ohio. I didn't have access to the tape recordings themselves at, at the point where I was, you know, trying to study them. And July of 1979, Gallery Magazine put out this special issue on the assassination of President Kennedy. And in it included a paper record of the recorded gunshot evidence. And if you overlook the narration, you can, you know, pretty much hear what they're talking about. Well, anyway, I just played this thing to death, just trying to hear, you know, the gunshots and hear for myself what they really said was 95% evidence of a conspiracy. Steve Barber alone heard something all the experts missed, the barely audible sound of Sheriff Decker at headquarters telling policemen on the scene, hold everything secure. The stuck open microphone, which was on channel one, had somehow picked up Sheriff Decker's words from channel two, a phenomenon known as crosstalk. And back at police headquarters, the dicta belt recorded what the microphone had picked up. I found that when Sheriff Decker is speaking, his voice is coming through the open microphone during the sound impulses that the acoustic experts said were gunshots. But he didn't make his statement until a minute and a half after the assassination had already occurred. So those cannot be gunshots simply because of that. In 1982, the National Academy of Sciences confirmed the crosstalk Steve Barber discovered and thus concluded the acoustic evidence of a fourth shot coming from the grassy knoll was invalid. You still hear it? Yeah. 